The lab is created to look at the process of finding the answers to questions about the future of cities, not necessarily from a planning perspective, but from understanding the underlying engines that drive the city. What are the forces that are often driven by everyday people? And how do we design better experiments to uncover those forces? So that's why it's a lab. It's not necessarily there to find conclusions. It's there to formulate experiments. And some experiments are going to go great, and some experiments are going to fail. But that is the process of, of science. Europe in general, to the outside world, has a perspective that the expert is the primary holder of the answers. Our lab tries to turn that upside down and say, we're going to look at individual people, ordinary people, everyday people who have talents, who may not realize they have talents, and make them into the expert. What we bring to the project is that expertise and that know-how of how to bring the best out of people is not just about exchanging ideas, it's about actually exchanging tools and materials to construct a prototype. It's almost anthropological, but it'll be great to see that process of people going from everyday individuals to everyday inventors. In that exchange of fabrication, of looking at tangible objects and trying to exchange ideas via tangible objects, people will, will understand what it really means again to fabricate as part of your everyday experience. That's, I think, the best way that people can relate to us. What we hope is to see how those experiments perform in different controlled settings. The same type of experiments that we ran in Berlin may not be applicable in Mumbai or may be a complete hit. And we're gonna learn from that data. We're gonna under uncover patterns of both everyday invention, about high level design, and about how cities grow as engines of, of innovation and, and, and just everyday, everyday activities. If I could change one thing about the lab, I would invite more people to hack the lab, to introduce new concepts, new programs, new workshops, and just make their own pop-up lab that will frankly overshadow our own vision. Because when you distribute that power to people, they're gonna create their own vision. Hacking us would be a marvelous opportunity for, for, for showing that empowerment actually works, whether it's with technology or with people or both.